Capricorn, what's going on with you guys? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a bonus reading, all right? We're just going to tune into whatever energies are going to come forward here. May this video attract new Capricorn that I have yet to connect with. I want to tune into a new energy, a new Capricorn energy, all right? I may tune into those that I have a really close affinity with. All right, obviously I got a connection with my subscribers, but let's see, let's, let's whatever the highest message that will serve the collective. May this come forth. Let's get one last shuffle and get an overall energy for those that resonate with the energy of Capricorn, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cup, I mean the Eight of Coins, and the Four of Hmm. The Four of Swords, ladies and gents. Damn, I'm seeing a, a, a really high need of healing. Of working on a situation, of finding healing within something. All right, what's going on here with the Knight of Wands? What's going on here with the Knight of Wands? Okay, well, there's somebody here that's, that's wanting to revisit a situation. All right, this is a card of the Six of Cups. This is a card of nostalgia. This is a card of revisiting the past. The Emperor could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries to be specific, Sagittarius, Leo. However, yeah, Capricorn, I feel that you are definitely drawn to this person or you were interested in this individual. My camera died. Anyways, what I was saying is that, yeah, you definitely seemed interest. You definitely seem interested in whoever it is that you got around your proximity here. This is someone you already know, Capricorn. All right, this is someone you're already connecting with. It seems that the relationship is still is being cultivated. All right, what does the past look like here between Capricorn and this individual? The two of the two of coins. So this could have lacked stability. Things have could have been up in the air in regards to this relationship. All right. Even though that might have been the case here, I feel that justice was served. There was some sort of truth that needed to be established between you guys because of the intentions of the relationship. They just weren't they weren't aligned with what the actual potential of the relationship was. So let's just say you guys actually attracted one another into your lives for the desire of actual a serious commitment or something truthful for something honest due to this discombobulation or this lack of you know this lack of stability per se it seems that shit might have hit the fan for a good reason all right the justice did not come when there is harmony the justice the justice the justice the justice comes <laughs> the justice comes when there's disharmony all right, but this is a necessary act of balance. So that's what I see happening. I feel that you and whomever it is that you're dealing with are now getting on the same page, ladies and gents. All right, this emperor that you're dealing with, let me tell you, this person could have not, they, they, there's a chance that this person was not always on that energy because they're, we got the Knight of Wands here. They could have been acting a bit fickle. They could have been acting a bit unreliable or non-committal. but it looks like somebody here is changing. Somebody here is leveling up. The Empress. They're leveling up to match your energy, all right? <clears throat> or you're leveling up to match theirs. What is this Eight of Coins? Let's look at this Eight of Coins, Capricorn. The High Priestess. All right. <clears throat> By the way, how do you guys like my blue screen? I mean, my green screen in the back. I put on a, a fucking green screen in the back. Just, I'm going to start changing the views. I'm going to put myself in outer space probably next week just for the hell of it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So um, right now I, I chose the Mexico City option. So I got a Mexico City display background. Let me know what you guys think. It looks fucking HD, doesn't it? Anyways, guys. So what I'm seeing here, the High Priestess. <clears throat> mm, it's time to come out of the fucking dungeon is what I'm seeing here. Somebody here has been in a energy of just disassociation from this relationship. It could have been a, could have been a lack of communication, absolute lack of engagement. But somebody here is coming out of the dark, ladies and gents, and being vulnerable, flat out. The sun and the page of cups. I hope you guys can see that. <clears throat> somebody here is coming out of the dark, wanting to put effort, wanting to put down a, a motion of collaboration, union. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> However, we got, we got somebody here that is very proactive while there's another individual that isn't so proactive. Somebody here is still taking a break from the situation. Somebody here is still healing or finding a sense of groundedness. All right. In other words, we got an active and a passive energy is what I'm seeing. Let's look into this passive energy. What's going on with this um, 
Four of Swords, Four of Wands, interesting. I mean, there's just, there's definitely a pull towards a union here, but somebody pulled themselves out and they're taking a break, the Hermit. That doesn't mean that they're walking away. This could be you, Capricorn. This could be the person you're dealing with. It just seems that somebody here is regrouping. I really get the sense that it is you. Someone here is collecting themselves due to whatever wounds or confusion this, uh, this connection came to be. All right. But even in this element of repose, all right, even, even as somebody's reposing, I feel that they're wanting to talk. They want to, they got something that they're wanting to communicate. I feel that they've already come to some sort of realization, the judgment here regarding this relationship, you know, through pondering, through seeking to gain a different perspective from the situation. And really what I'm getting the sense of is that somebody wants to order or not wants to order, but imagine that Capricorn, you're trying to be fucking bossy, aren't you? With this tower energy, trying to be a, trying to bring order. <laughs> what I'm seeing here is exactly that. It's like somebody here now wants to bring order to a situation. You don't want to order, right? Imagine that your fucking ex-hubby comes around. All right, motherfucker, you just start calling me sir or ma'am or fucking commander. From now on, you speak to me and you call me commander. Imagine that. Capricorn probably would. Ladies, put your men in check. All right. <clears throat> now, you, you Capricorn women, I bet you like masculine men. It's like the, the sign of Virgo... I've done a study, my own personal study. I used to work as a surgical technician when in my early 20s. And every time I'd get a chart, a patient chart, so like, so I'd be meeting people on a daily basis because obviously, right, I'd, I'd be treating patients. <clears throat> However, I'd look at their chart and I'd look at their birthday and I'm like, okay, this person's like this. And then I would see this congruent pattern of Virgo women and I would look at their partners and they were always passive men. There were always passive men. I don't know what the fuck it was. All right. So I came to the conclusion that Virgo women like passive men. <clears throat> I commented on one of the videos and I, I, tell, I told the Virgos exactly that. And they're like, no, I don't know. I like my men masculine. I'm like, well, fuck. According to my observation, it's not what I see, but I just turn a blind eye. All right. Anyways, what's going on here with you? What is your energy towards this individual, Capricorn? What is your energy towards this individual? The Five of Wands. Okay, buddy. The Five of Wands. You're not seeing eye to eye. Yeah, you're conflicted. I feel like you're turning your back on this situation. I feel like you're pulling your energy off from this situation. You, you're like, fuck this. I'd rather put myself first. I want to focus on things that bring me happiness. I can't get this individual off my mind, though. I think a lot about them, but there are greater things in life than to be focusing on this bullshit at this time. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. And you're coming to some sort of clarity through this. Yeah. Good on you for putting yourself first. You got to know when you pull, self, pull yourself out of a toxic situation. I just feel you're a little hurt. Too hurt to deal with the situation at this time. Therefore, you're in this high priestess energy. Hangman energy. It's contemplation. Looking at this. Trying to really gain a different perspective. I don't see you walking away. I see you turning away. But it's like you're not walking away. Okay? It's like you're turning away just to go to the corner over there and have your own space. What is this individual's energy towards Capricorn? What is this individual's energy towards Capricorn? Yep, the Eight of Wands. Here's that Nine of, nine, nine of Coins. I mean, the Nine of Wands that we saw earlier. And the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. God damn, this individual here is ready to fire it up the chariot absolutely you could be dealing with a sagittarius a cancer all right this person here is adamant about coming forward and healing and finding some sort of stability between you and them all right they've been holding on tightly to this situation fuck it's about time that this individual come forward here i feel like they're gonna spill a lot out page of coins or page of cups ten of cups this individual has been holding a lot back all right and i feel like when they do come and communicate some of you, you guys are already receiving communication from this individual. Some of you are not, but they're going to fucking unleash the gates of Pandora on your ass here with the tower. Boom. You ain't getting away, Capricorn. I love you. Ten of Cups. I want emotional fulfillment. I want to knock you up, baby. What's up? That's what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> All right. Damn. I bet you ladies are like, hell yeah. I want to get knocked up by him. 
That's what I'm seeing here, all right? This individual is manifesting love with you, flat out. This individual is manifesting love, and they are picture clear, water clear, crystal clear in regards to what it is that they want, and they don't want this to be a lost opportunity. All right, Queen of Cups. They got mad love for you. They got feelings for you. What is the mutual energy? Oh, shit. Let's just see that real quick. What is the mutual energy between Capricorn and whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is the mutual energy between Capricorn and whomever it is that they are dealing with? What is the mutual energy between Capricorn and whomever it is that they're dealing with? The Six of Coins. So you guys do want balance. You guys do want reciprocity. And maybe that's what was lacking in the past. Maybe you felt as if you weren't getting what you're worth. All right? And let me tell you, if that's the case, somebody is going to step up their fucking game. Knight of Coins. I mean, Knight of Cups to the Ace of Coins. It's coming, Capricorn. Now, I'm going to be looking into the near future. I'm going to be looking into this individual's actions towards you in the month of August. Be looking at their feelings towards you, their present feelings, and their present intentions. As for the future, I'm going to be looking at what the month of September looks like for this relationship. All right. If you're interested in the extended reading, it's going to be linked in the description. Otherwise, Capricorn, all you got to know is that you are being pursued, you are being desired, and somebody is going to be knocking on your door really, really soon. If they haven't already. All right. I'll see you guys next time.